I've had better. Um, but no, it was it was okay. We were lucky with the weather in the end. I was happy with that for a start. And then, uh, to be honest, I felt pretty average like all day, especially before the climb. I was a bit like, oh, this could be a terrible birthday. But um, managed to regroup and yeah, it was actually okay. You know, I had to let the boys go when um, UAE lit it up and Pog went, just because I couldn't. Uh, yeah, I had to ride my own pace, and fortunately for me, uh, I was with Ben O'Connor and his teammate, who did a really good ride to the top. And then, uh, yeah, I knew I knew I had like two and a half minutes on Tiberi, so I didn't want to go too crazy on the descent, but just follow the UAE dudes, and um, all pretty under control, I guess. Relieved it all came back together, like you say, with the help of uh, Azir Azir. Yeah, I know I had a decent gap anyway, like I say, so it was in no major rush. But um, it was still nice to close to them and you could relax a little bit more then. But uh, oh, I'm feeling every year of my 38 years now. Tell you. you conserved well. Was there anything you could have done to try to get to that second spot? Any regrets? No, not at all. I think um, the whole race, myself and the team, we've um, done our best and, uh, you know, we've... we've ridden well um, there was just nothing more I could do really to um, to overtake Danny great ride by him and um, as I say I'm tired now third place that's quite an accomplishment Garen, at a young age of yours yeah I, I you know everyone's always gone on about my age for quite a while now and I've never really seen the fuss um, but now oh yeah um, you know, it's 38 is pretty old for a professional cyclist, isn't it? But Garen, you've seen the best Contador, the best Bingo, and so on and so on. Where does this performance by Pogacar rank? Oh, for me, it's uh, he's the best I've raced with. I think, and I've raced with a lot of good guys. Um, just he's so versatile and aggressive, and uh, all year round as well. It's not just um, well, like me for a couple of months a year where you're good. Um, it's insane how talented he is. Can you see anyone, I mean obviously you want an Ineos rider to win the Tour, but can you see anyone beating him at the Tour? <coughs> um, Jonas is the only guy that's really on the same level as him, but um, it's yet to be seen how he is, I guess. Um, the rest, oh, of course there's always a chance in it's a bike race, but well, I'm pure physical talent he's unique coming back to you sorry he will probably won't be on a gunter podium at 38 i'll put a lot of money that he won't be racing when he's 38 yeah so at least i've got that on him but yeah you know each to their own and um it's no uh the only thing is he makes us look pretty slow you know but that's the whole peloton it's not just me coming back to you Geraint. um after all what you said do you feel still up for the challenge Giro Tour? Say? Do you still feel up to the challenge Giro Tour at the moment? Oh, nothing about the tour yet, mate. I just want to uh, have a nice cold beer for my birthday tonight. Bueno, ahí estaba la reacción del británico Geraint Thomas tras la etapa número 20 de este Giro de Italia 2024. Y atención que aquí tenemos al ganador de la etapa 20, ha sido Tadej Pogacar reclamando su sexta victoria. Tadej Pogacar con 4 horas 58 minutos 23 segundos. Segundo lugar en la etapa fue Valentín Parepentre y el tercer lugar en el podio de la etapa fue Daniel Felipe Martínez a 2 minutos 07 también. Por acá tenemos la general, aquí está, así está la general. Tras la etapa número 20, creo que todo está listo, resuelto hasta aquí. Tade Pogachar el campeón. Daniel Felipe Martínez es el segundo lugar en el podio a 9 minutos 56. Y Geraint Thomas el tercer lugar en el podio a 10 minutos 24. Einer Rubio, el otro colombiano, está metido en la casilla séptima a 15 minutos 52. Y también tenemos a otro colombiano que es Nairo Quintana en la casilla 19 a 54 minutos 37 segundos.